Hey everyone, it's Arcanus Gaming. Thank you for tuning in to another video. And in this video, I figured I'd do a character update. Um, I do have two level 60s, and this might be a surprise for little, uh, some of you. may not be a surprise for some of you. Um, I have two level 60 warriors. One is on the Herod server, and one is here on Karanax. I also had a 16 shaman that was leveling, and a paladin as well. But um, I figured I'd go, out, go ahead and show off the, this warrior. This is the second warrior that I did level. Um, the reason why I leveled the warrior is because another warrior is because my friends and family um, we all planned to go on Herod, but they didn't have the time to wait so long at the beginning when the server when the wait time was like hours upon hours. So they made characters on Karanax. So I ended up leveling my warrior to 60 on Herod, hoping they'd come to the server, but uh, don't blame them at all. Blame them at all. They leveled up in Karanax. So I ended up having to make another 60 warrior. But I am enjoying the class. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I put up with the level grind for Warriors, because I love the class so much. Um, but just to take a look at the gear, um, pretty pretty good stuff. Um, nothing raid yet. Uh, Prebis, I have a bunch of Prebis. I think my tank is raid ready. I have tanked Molten Core, unfortunately did not get anything. But um, just take a look at the gear here. Pretty standard stuff. Um, I, I guess the best thing I do have is the Hand of Justice. I got really lucky with it. Don't have the Ring for Mardon um, on this character. It's, it just, it's just been eluding me and I don't feel like going back to that place. Um, other than that, I do have my Epic Mount on this character as well as 700 gold. So this character is looking pretty good. Uh, leveled up Herbalism and Alchemy. Only flask I have uh, or got lucky to get is the flask of Titans. I could probably buy the other flasks on the auction house. Like the flask of Supreme Power. I've ran Scrollomance like so many times, never dropped. Um, let's see how much typically. 200 gold. I mean, I couldn't afford it, but I kind of want to help my uh, my friends and uh, my family get their 60 mount or epic mount. So I'm saving up the money for them. But um, that's pretty much it for this character. Again, nothing too crazy. I really want to raid, get into a raiding guild, but um, because of some circumstances, I haven't been able to yet. But uh, hopefully soon. So we'll go ahead and log on to my other character which is on the Herod server. But yeah, let me know what, what are your guys' favorite class in Classic so far. I know PvP is coming out soon. I cannot wait. I probably will change both my Warriors to Arm Spec just because I want to PvP on both of them. But this character uh, logged off in Ubers, did a run, didn't get the um, Eye of Rand or the, the uh, True Shike Strollers or the Ring or anything like that. Um, as you can see this character I kind of stopped playing for a little bit because uh, of course I was loving my other character on uh, Karanax, but Pretty embarrassing the gear on this one. I did actually go tank at first But just recently I wanted to switch and try out like a rage slam build I probably should have shown you my spec on the other character I'll do that in a second, but the gear for this guy not too impressive the best item I do have is probably the run the scythe on oh actually the blackstone ring i have the ring on this character but as you see most of this not too great i just ended up purchasing the devil sore um stuff only have 49 gold on this one and i did go engineering and mining not capped yet uh, but yeah let's go ahead and check the spec out i mean it's the cookie cutter two-handed fury uh slam build 31 and fury 20 in arms. I don't think anything in protection, yeah. So just a standard build from our orc. Um, this character has 11 days, 16 hours. I'll just go ahead and show you. 11 days, 16 hours, and 39 minutes total. Time played this level, seven hours and 28 minutes. So yeah, I kinda, um, kinda stopped playing this character um, for a little bit to level up my other warrior. So that's what I have on the orb. Let me go ahead and cross over and show the spec on my my prot warrior. I think I might level another character. Um, that's why I kind of stopped with the pally. I had to make another 60 warrior. I really like uh, paladin. Paladin is what I played back in classic. So I might continue with that character. But PvP is coming out soon, uh, November 12th. So I kind of 
kind of want to stick to the, at least um, my undead warrior for now, and uh, you know PvP. I mean, it's exciting stuff. But I'll go ahead and show the spec for my warrior here. Uh, again, standard uh, prot stuff. 35 in prot. I think this is a little bit uh, different from the like the cookie cutter. Um, spec on the websites but um, only three points in fury I think I took three uh, the extra two points in that crit to go into charge because I've, I've been spamming dungeons and I like charging and getting the extra rage for um, for threat so that's where my characters stand um, the highest level after that again as you saw is the 16 shaman on the Karanak server the other one is um, level 10 paladin I still haven't leveled that I know you guys really uh, enjoyed the, the leveling series with the paladin I might level him a little bit more before PvP comes out, but we shall see. Um, hopefully get in a raid with this character, get some good gear, hopefully get a raid from MC to gear me up for, or get a weapon from MC to gear me up for uh, PvP. But um, hopefully you guys like this character update. If you want to see more specific videos of each of the characters or just like a leveling series, let me know. But um, I've been pretty busy for the most part, just um, farming gear for this guy. But uh, I do again appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know what your favorite class is. Are you guys excited for PvP? Are you excited about BlizzCon? What, what did you think about BlizzCon? I might make a separate video of what I thought about BlizzCon. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and have a good one.